Today I'm off to a business meeting, so I'm going to show you a quick, easy makeup which is natural and fresh looking. I've actually already prepped my skin, um, so what I'm going to start with is a slight line filler just to get rid of some of the creases here and here before I put on my foundation. So I'm using a MAC Prep and Prime Line Filler Base. Just taking a small amount like this, pop it on the back of my hand, I'm just going to literally run it over the lines between my eyebrows, all that frowning I do and a little bit just under here around the old crow's feet. I'm going to use Chanel Taint Innocence here. Um, I love this foundation, I use it a lot on a lot of my clients. Um, it's not too thick, it gives your face a lovely fresh glow um, without being too shiny. So the number I'm using on myself today is 20, it's called Claire. And I just pop it on the back of my hand, I find it easier to work like that. Um, and I'm using a sponge today, some of my favourite wedge sponges, which I actually bulk buy on eBay. Um, and if you follow me on Twitter, at Chloe Butcher, I will put a link up there for you to see where to get them from. So, I'm literally going to press it to, into my skin, right up under my eyes where I need the extra help. So just finish pressing that all into the skin, buffing it in, making sure it's not sitting on the surface. Now the next thing I'm going to use is this Bobbi Brown and it's an eye brightener. So it reflects the light, has a slightly pinky tone to it which gets rid of the blueness in the circles. And just using my finger, I'm just going to pop tiny bit underneath so I'm just going to finish patting that under the eyes okay the next product I'm going to use is Bobbi Brown Pot Rouge it's a cream product which is great for lips and cheeks and I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of this lovely pink which is called Coral, Calypso Coral I'm going to put this on the apple of my cheeks, now you can see it really shows up instantly. But the trick is to blend it in quite quickly on the apples of your cheeks. And up. So the skin's looking a bit a bit better now really and um, I am now going to curl my lashes which I just suggest to everybody it makes so much difference it really opens up your eyes makes you look more awake I'm going to use Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara it has a brilliant very thick wand as you can see which really separates your lashes elongates plumps them up I'm going to start by applying it to my bottom lashes because if you put it on your top and then look up to do underneath you tend to get the sort of spidery footprints um, on your eye eyelid which you don't want especially if you've done eyeshadow so I always start with the, start with the bottom okay so bottom lashes done I'm now going to move on to my top ones and the trick is to really get into the root So I'm kind of wiggling it right in there. That'll lift up your lashes too. And then draw it out to the end. And that's what will elongate, cover from root to tip. Now what I've got here is Clinique Instant Lift for Brows. Uh, what's great about this product is it's double-ended. So one end we have a very nice sort of creamy colour at a slanted angle so you can really get in there and sort of feather the lines out and make it very um, precise. And at the other end we ha actually have a highlighter which you can use just under your brow to lift up the brow bone and make your eyes seem brighter. So I'm going to start, first of all, by just running a tiny bit of colour
through my brows to get a smaller mirror. <laughs> Not too much, just a little bit to to strengthen them up. Like so. And then using the other end, I'm going to pop a tiny bit of highlighter on, just underneath. And just using my finger, sort of blend that in a little. You can see it instantly lifts everything. So I'm just going to finish off my look now with a, a new tone lip gloss and it's actually a Chanel one that I'm going to use here. Um, it's from their Rouge Allure range, it's number 51. And I'm just going to pop that all over. Just to give slight definition and plumpness rather than um, my normal colour which is quite pinky. So anyway that's it now, ready for my business meeting and I hope you have enjoyed watching this look and see you again soon.